Hi guys, uh, welcome back to this uh, video series and um, Laravel to do app. In this video, we'll be fixing these timestamps, which are um, displayed as the uh, as a string from the database. We'll be displaying it uh, as a Carbon instance, and we'll be running some Carbon helper uh, static methods. And there are a couple of methods that can really make these timestamps more readable. So let's write. Let's dive right into the code. The very first thing we're going to do is open up our home page. In our home page, we have created that, updated that, and these two timestamps by default are carbon instances. So we can just run this method uh, on, which is a carbon uh, straight from the carbon class. I, I'll show you. Let's refresh and see how it looks like. As you can see, it looks like one day ago and one day ago, which is more readable than a, a plain. Uh, timestamp now if you go to carbon and you try to look for um, the for humans see this method here it takes um, get the difference in human it's, it's a pretty good class and you can have a fairly complex you can have a read and you can try to understand somebody has done a really good job at this but anyway the next thing is the due date. Now the due date has been defined as a carbon instant. It should be passed as a carbon instance. But unfortunately, we're getting while we're trying to store and we're trying to retrieve, it should be treated as a carbon instant. But unfortunately, we're getting it as a string. You can make sure by doing so. So war dump due date, and then you go back to your application and refresh, and you will notice this is actually a string. It's a string that has a length of 10 characters. So what we have to do is essentially convert the string to time, which is just a simple PHP function. And then once it is converted to time, then we can create create from timestamp method we can run on this time. And once it's ready to be passed, then we can run the for humans method on it and that will fix the timestamp okay so carbon carbon create from timestamp string to time due date diff for humans it says it should be an integer All we have to do is remove this um, we have to add here and take this one off and that's all we have to do I think I the parentheses were wrong carbon not found so I would say carbon it's a namespace issue and give me the timestamp please and it does understand me and it gives me the timestamps. So that's how you fix the timestamps and I'll be creating a new video very shortly in which we'll be creating an edit button, delete button and a completed button where we can change the status of the task complete or pending by toggling that button. So stay tuned and make sure to hit some likes and share this video. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.